Hello Python students! This tutorial is about file I.O. and I.O. stands for input and output. Now before I show any examples with reading from files or writing to files, I want to double check uh, that I know where my files are going to be written to if I start writing a file. So I imported OS, which stands for operating system, and I can check where my files are going to go if I start writing by looking at the current working directory. So I used os.getcwd for current working directory, and this is what it gave me. So if I, in this other little window above, I went to that directory, and I purposely wanted to go there because there's not much here. So I'll be able to easily see if a file appears, a new file I created, and if I want to read from a file, I'll be able to see what my choices are. So if you are not in the path that you want to be at, if you're in a path that has a, a bazillion files and you don't want to sort through all those to try to figure out which one you want to read from or where your file you wrote to is, then you can use os.chdir for change directory and go to a directory of your choice so that you can be working from a, a clean slate. So first of all, I'm going to open a file for writing. Let's write a file first. So I'll do that with f is equal to open the name of the file, myfile.txt, and I'm going to open this file for writing. So a file doesn't have to exist with this name, but I'm going to open it for writing. And the return type from this open command is going to be um, a, like a pointer to that file, so a reference to that file. So I'm going to need to save that in order for all my next commands to work. So to write to the file, notice after I did that command, this window above here, cr we can see that new file has already been created. It's zero bytes so far. We're going to change that soon. Let's go ahead and oops, write to the file with the variable that you just um, got from opening the file. So f, f dot write, and what do I want to write? Let's say hello world, and then I'll go to the next line. And maybe one more line just for good measure. I'll do by world, and go to the end of the line. And then when I'm done writing to the file, I can close the file with a dot close function. And notice when I close the file, the size of my file has changed. And I can actually click on this and I can see those two lines that I just wrote to the file are indeed inside the file. So pretty cool. Uh, what happens if I were to try to write to the file again? Well, I need another a pointer. I close that pointer so that f is no longer pointing to an open file. So I'll need to open the file again. And if I opened it for writing, oops, look at the size. So the size is actually back to zero. Opening it with a dash with a w for writing will override whatever previous contents you have. If you are if you rewrite to the fi same file name. So now I could re write to the file. This time I'll do bye first and then hello world maybe two times just to make it a little different and then I'll close the file. So now I open it and I see well I, yeah I did wipe clean everything I had in the file before and then I wrote my three lines. What about reading from a file? Well, it's going to have a similar line for opening, and you don't have to use f as the variable name. We could just use x or y or z or file pointer, whatever we want. And then we're going to do the open command again. Well, I better choose the name of a file that actually exists if I'm going to open it for reading. So I'm going to choose that myfile.txt that we just created. So this time I'll use R in quotes to say I want to read from this file. And now I can use my file pointer. And there's a couple different ways I can read. I could read one line at a time with the read line command. And here it'll return that one line. I could either just print it to the screen or I could save it into a variable called line or any, any variable name you want. So here I read that first line from the file. Well, what if I read again? If I read line again, now I've got the second line of the file. There's another way to read. We could just read a certain number of bytes. 
so with just read and then a number, I could say read two bytes from this file. Well, the pointer, the file pointer, knows where we left off when we were reading from the file, and it's going to read the next two bytes. So we had hello world uh, printed as two different lines at the end of the file, so now we read the first two characters from hello world. We could do that again, and we could see the next two characters. And then we could have read with no arguments in those parentheses. It'll just read the rest of the file, which isn't much. All right, so with those file pointers, every time you're done reading or writing, we're going to want to close the file. So x was the name of the variable that was pointing to that file. I'll go ahead and close that. And that is an example of file I.O. in Python.